What if I told you AWS could run on your laptop? Not a mock, not fake configs, actual AWS services. LocalStack is a cloud emulator that runs AWS services locally on Docker. S3, Lambda, DynoDB, SQS, API Gateway, all on your machine. We have videos coming out all the time. Be sure to subscribe. You use the same AWS SDKs, the same CLI, the same infrastructure as code tools. The only difference is you're not really talking to the real AWS. Now let's be honest, developing directly against AWS kind of sucks. Your feedback loop is slow, your CI pipeline takes forever, heck, you're scared to even experiment because you might break a shared development environment. Then of course, every experiment comes with the fun surprise of a nice cloud bill. I mean, we all really love that. It gives you instant feedback, local infrastructure testing, and you can break things without fearing the worst, and you don't need an AWS account or even internet connection. It's basically just AWS without the anxiety that comes with it. But here's what most people misunderstand what's happening. This doesn't replace AWS. Spinning up LocalStack is rather simple. Once you brew install LocalStack, because I'm on a Mac, then I can launch it with one command. I'm going to run in the terminal local stack start, and this is going to run a Docker container. Everything is in one Docker container. Once it's running, your laptop exposes an AWS compatible endpoint. And this point matters. You use the normal AWS CLI. Same commands, same syntax, same workflow. You just point it at local stack instead of real AWS. So here I can add a quick configuration, just a basic input data like test. I'm going to choose the US East server, all that stuff. Then I can build the Lambda packages out. From here, I will go to deploy and this will create an S3 bucket. It's going to set all my parameters and it's going to push out that static site. It outputs our URLs here that we can copy. And then let's run this in our browser. I'm going to paste those two URL here and boom, we're good to go. This is a simple Git repo that I clone from their docs page just to test out in this environment where I can now upload a file and I'm going to give it a shot. And there we go. It compresses everything for us. It is working. This is all locally, zero cloud resources involved. At this point, you're probably thinking, okay, cool demo. That's not what this is for. Local stack fits directly into real infrastructure workflows. Terraform, AWS CDK, serverless frameworks. You point your stack at local stack instead of AWS. Usually that's just a small config change like overriding an endpoint. Now you can spin up lambdas, queues, APIs, and databases locally. Run your tests, then tear everything down in seconds. The same approach works in CI. You spin up local stack and Docker, run your tests, shut it down. It's faster, it's cleaner, and it's a better way to do this. And this is where people expect it to fall apart. It doesn't. You get your service logs, local debugging, dashboard integrations with tools like test containers. And these are used by both big companies, but they're just as useful if you're working solo. Now, here's the part I don't want you to misunderstand. This isn't the perfect clone. Local stack is not identical to AWS. Some services behave slightly different. Some edge cases just aren't the same. Not everything is supported 100%, so you should test critical paths in real AWS. Think of local stack as like your inner development loop. It's your CI test environment, basically your sandbox, but not production. If you use it for what it's good at, it changes everything. Local stack lets you run AWS locally, so I can ship faster, test infrastructure safely, and avoid all those fun cloud bills. Go give it a shot, see how it feels. It's not perfect, okay? There's drawbacks that we just don't get with AWS. If you saved a little time in this video and you enjoyed it, hit that like button, and we'll see you in another video.